Here we have the function h of x equal to 1 divided by x minus pi, and we want to find the derivative here using the chain rule. So first, let u be g of x. the x minus pi and then uh, this could also be rewritten as this this is the same as this this pi uh, x minus pi to the first and then rewrite this is 1 times x to the negative 1 and this is x minus pi to the negative 1 so we'll let u be g of x so in the derivative of u or u prime is equal to g prime of x derivative of x is just 1, and the derivative of the constant phi is 0, and so we get 1. And so f g of x, this will be the same as f of u will be u to the negative 1, because uh, u is x minus y. And the derivative here, which is the derivative of f of u, using the power rule, we get negative 1 times u and then negative 1 minus 1. So this will be negative 1 u to the negative 2. And this will be negative 1 times u is uh, x minus 5 and then negative 2 which is just negative x minus 5 So h prime of x by the chain rule, this is this. Which is the same as this. So uh, f prime of g of x would be the negative x minus y to the negative 2 and then this is just 1 so the answer is negative x minus y to the negative 2 Here we have the function h of x equal to uh, 1 dividing by the square root of 3x plus 1. And so we need to rewrite this using rational exponent. So this is the same as 1 dividing by 3x plus 1 to the 1 half. And this is the same as 1 times this with a negative exponent and this is equal to 3 x plus 1 to the negative 1 half and then we let the u with this g of x be the inside here 
3x plus 1. And so the derivative of u, which is the derivative of g, the derivative of the 3 times x is just 3. The 3 times 1. This is multiplication right here. This is 3 times x, so the derivative be 3 times the derivative of x, and the derivative of x is 1. And then the derivative for the constant is 0, so we get 3. And then f, g of x, this is the same as f of u. And uh, u is uh, 3x plus 1 to the negative 1 half, 3x plus 1. And so f of u would be 3x and be u to the negative 1 half. And then we need the derivative right here. So we want the derivative of f of g of x, and we also want the derivative of u. So we f of u is u to the negative one half. Then f of um, then the derivative would be negative one half times u to the negative one half minus one, and that's the power rule using the power rule or derivative. So this would be negative one half and u negative one half minus one is negative three halves. Three halves. And in the place of u, u is this. U is three x plus one. And so h prime of x, by the chain rule, this is f prime g of x, and then times g prime of x. And so we get negative 1 half times 3x plus 1 to the negative 2, 3 halves, and then times 3. And then negative one half times three is negative three halves. And this is the answer.